Hello, this is Mark Silver. I'm going to show you how to use the one point sensor test in Surf CE. Um, I've got an IMU initialization, so I'm just going to exit and go to equipment and then GPS utilities and then sensor calibration. And the bottom button is one point sensor test. When I come in here, I'm going to level up the rod, click on the start button. And you have three different things going on in this screen. The first thing in the upper right corner, you have the incline. So you can see if I tilt it about 10 degrees, it measures a tilt of about 10 degrees. The next thing is the tilt direction. Now the tilt direction and the bubble that are displayed are not coupled. They're two separate things. So if I tilt this receiver to the south, the tilt direction is going to be about 180. If I bring the receiver directly north, the tilt direction is going to be a couple of degrees of true north. And similar, if I go to the east, we'll see 90 degrees, and to the west, we'll see about 270 degrees. So I know that my IMU is calibrated correctly to true north. Now the bubble in the big white box, it follows the bubble on the pole. I'm facing the south right now. By the way, to make this work, you need to have the display on the receiver pointing towards you. So if I center the bubble, the bubble on the screen centers. If I pull the receiver so that the bubbles, here I'm pulling the receiver due north, and you'll see that that bubble on the screen follows the bubble on the pole. And even though they're not electrically coupled, they're coupled by the IMU and the receiver. Now the next thing we have is the distance air over here on the left and the elevation air. And you'll notice that as I tilt the pole, here's a two degree tilt, I introduce about five hundredths of a foot change. Even though the top of my receiver is moving what, about a foot off the ground mark, how far can that go? Here's a ten degree tilt, again about six hundredths, ten degree tilt about 500. Takes a oh, quarter of a second once I stop moving the pole for the tilt compensation to catch up. The idea here though is if you're going to do a bunch of topo shots and you don't want to level the pole every time you can just hold it still for a quarter of a second and then pop off the shot. So this test allows you to verify that the IMU is calibrated so that north is north, south is south, east is east. And it also checks the incline. Um, you can see that the bubble matches the bubble that's on the pole. And then you can look at the distance there as you tilt the device away from a known point. 